In this video, we will create a desktop application where we can display the information in the table using the Python custom Kinter library. We will remake the project with you. I would like to briefly introduce you to the application we will be making. There are two entries and a button object. We write the table name in the first entry object. We write which data ID we want to see in the second entry object. When we click on the button, the data we want is shown to us. We can make a few tries. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. First, we need to create the database and table. We can use the GUI application we made in previous lessons to create tables. If you haven't watched it yet, you can check out the playlist. I set the table name, column name and types. When I press the button, a database and table are created. Now I will do the insert operation. We learned how to perform the insert operation in previous lessons. I add 10 data to the table using these codes. Using this query, I can print the data from the table to the console screen. Now let's learn how to make the application I showed at the beginning of the video. I am creating a Python code file. I import the custom Kinter library. You can use this code if it has not been transferred to your library code file yet. I'm transferring the SQLite library. I create a variable for the window. I set the window title. I set the window size using the geometry function. By using the main loop function, I ensure that the window does not close suddenly. I created an empty window. Now I will add the entry object for table name. I send the window name, text and width variables to the function. I add the object to the window using the place function. Now I will add the entry object for the ID. I can copy and paste. I am making the necessary arrangements. I added the entry object for the ID to the window. I will create a button. I send the window name, text and task function to the button function. I add the object to the window with the place function. I added the button object to the window. Now I will create a result label object to display the data on the screen. I can do this using the label function. I 
I set the text property to turtle to see it on the screen. Label object has been added to the window. Now let's edit the task function. I establish a relationship with the database with the connect function. I need a variable to write a query. I will send the query to the execute function. I write the select query. I will use table name and ID generically in the select query. I can access the values entered by the user with the get function. I get data from entry table and ID objects. Cursor is actually a list. I can access members of the list with a for loop. I change the text of the result label object using the configure function. Now let's test the application. I enter the table name in the first entry object. I enter the ID value into the second entry object. When I click on the button, the data is shown in the result label object. I can make a few different examples. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. Thanks for watching.